Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrison from Learn Your Land. And something that I really enjoy doing is making medicines from the organisms of my landscape. So whether that would be medicinal mushrooms like chaga, reishi, or turkey tail, or plants like stinging nettles, elderberries, and this plant that I have extracting in this jar right here, which is bone set, or Eupatorium profoliatum. And here in Pennsylvania, there are at least 10 species of Eupatorium. They belong to the family of plants known as asters, or the composite family. And bone set is characterized by having opposite wrinkly leaves. And a unique trait is that the stem of the plant essentially pokes right through those leaves. And this is a characteristic trait known as perfoliate, which is where the species name perfoliatum comes from. The plant is essentially hairy throughout, and it grows to be about one to four feet tall. Bone set is characterized by having numerous white flat top flowers, and they typically bloom from about July to October here in Pennsylvania. And if you're looking for bone set in the wild, you wanna look in wet environments. So in wet meadows, along streams, and on the outer edges of swamps. Now why would somebody be attracted to bone set? It's not a very showy plant, and there's nothing really about it that tells you that it's medicinal. However, if we really dig into it, we find that boneset has a long and rich history of use by numerous North American indigenous populations, and then subsequently by the European settlers who supplanted them. And a lot of modern scientific research backs up these claims. For example, suggesting that boneset helps to stimulate the immune system, especially through a process known as phagocytosis. If you recall back to your ninth grade biology class, or perhaps your biology class as a freshman in college, Perhaps you will recall this process of phagocytosis when learning about the immune system. And this is whereby certain cells within our bodies, like macrophages or neutrophils, engulf or eat certain pathogenic organisms, like bacteria, and then present this to a lysosome, which is another organelle within the cell. And it is here where certain toxic substances or enzymes are secreted, like oxygen radicals or nitric oxide, to destroy this pathogenic organism. And what's fascinating is that research shows that Boneset outperforms other herbs when it comes to phagocytosis, especially outperforming echinacea. So boneset helps to stimulate the immune system through the process of phagocytosis. Research also shows that boneset helps to provide pain relief associated with a common cold, as equally as effective as aspirin. And when looking at alcohol extracts or ethanol extracts, research shows that these can be antibacterial and cytotoxic. Cytotoxic meaning toxic to cells. And a particular study found that it's as equally as effective as chlorambucil. Now chlorambucil is a cytotoxic agent. It's a chemotherapeutic drug used to help treat leukemia and lymphoma. However, it also presents a host of serious and very detrimental side effects to the human body. Bone set, which is also cytotoxic, presents few, if any, side effects to the human body. Just saying. And also, alcohol extracts help to pull out a certain compound known as eupifolin found in bone set. And eupifolin is a potent and very powerful anti-inflammatory agent. So of course, not only does bone set have a long and rich history of use by numerous North American indigenous populations, but it also has a lot of research to back up its claims. So how are we going to get this medicine into us? It's not like we can just stare at this plant and will it into our bodies. We actually have to do something about it. And we have to take action. And there are a couple ways to do this. We can make an infusion, which is a hot water extract. And this will pull out some of those hot water soluble compounds like polysaccharides. And it's very easy. Think of it like a tea. So you'll take one to two tablespoons of the dried material and add this to hot water. Let that infuse for 10, 15, 30 minutes, and then strain that out and you can drink it. Now I have to warn you that it is a very strong plant, very, very bitter, but this bitterness is its medicine. And in heavy, heavy doses, it can act as an emetic and also a diaphoretic. Diaphoretic meaning it can help you to sweat, but bone set has also been used to treat fevers by causing you to sweat and to cool down. So that's in strong doses. So you can make a tea out of it or an infusion. Another thing that we can do is to make an alcohol extract or an ethanol extract. And this will pull out some of those alcohol soluble compounds like the triterpenes, like those anti-inflammatory molecules such as eupifolin. And it's really easy to do. This is the method that I prefer because it is so simple. And so you take your dried material. I harvested a bunch of this in late August, early September, and I let it sit out in the sun for just one to two days. And then it completely dried. I reduced the bone set down to a coarse consistency right before creating the extraction. 
And this is a key step because you want to increase the surface area of this plant, allowing the alcohol to penetrate the cells and pull out the maximum amount of compounds that have medicinal benefits for our body. If you had the whole dried herb in there without breaking it down, well then the alcohol can't hit all the cell walls and pull out the maximum amount of medicine. So I took this coarse material and then added it to a jar about one third to halfway full. I then filled up the jar with the best vodka that I could find, which is 100% organic, 80 proof vodka. And I highly recommend choosing organic in this case so that you can avoid any kind of synthetic genetic modification that may have taken place with the grains used in your alcohol. And then I topped the jar off with it, I sealed it, I put the name of the plant, Boneset Eupatorium Perfoliatum, in the date that I started my extraction. And I'm going to let this sit for about six weeks. So I started it on the new moon just a few days ago and I will pull it not on the next full moon but the full moon right after that. So that will be six weeks. But you could do two weeks, you could do four weeks, you could do five weeks, you could do five and a half weeks, you could do six weeks as well. You could even do longer if you'd like. And then whenever you're done, you will strain all this out and then you can bottle it in tincture bottles. And then you can enjoy that medicine for months, even years to come. And that's it. It's very easy to do. And I can't stress to you enough, if you've been watching my videos, how important this information really is. Building a medicinal strategy based on the organisms of your landscape, the wild organisms. When you do this, I'm telling you, it leads to one of the greatest feelings in the world, which is complete health freedom, health sovereignty. And it only comes about when you take full responsibility for your health, full responsibility for everything that comes into your life and everything that you put out into the world. Becoming less and less and less dependent on a system that cares way more about your money than it does about your health. And that's a huge problem. So by tapping into this ancestral and almost but not forgotten practice of bringing plants from the wild into our homes, into our lives, into our bodies, and building our health out of it, well then we can really take our health to the next level. And then to the next level, and to the next level and beyond. And I'm here to tell you it's completely and totally worth it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I encourage you to check out Learn Your Land dot com and also to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can stay up to date on all the videos that i plan on releasing regarding the flora the fauna and the fungi of our beautiful earth thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time